97-year-old eats alone at Arby's every day until employees realize something's off. Over the last two and a half years, Arby's had a regular who would waltz in every day like clockwork. She had noticed him ever since she had worked as the manager there, why was he always alone? She was curious as to why he came into the same restaurant every day and sat down to eat. What he told her had everyone getting out their checkbooks. Without fail, Doug Parker would always arrive for lunch. The 97-year-old veteran comes into the Arby's for the exact same meal at the same seat he always sits in. Christina liked to get to know her regulars. But she was also so curious as to why Doug did what he did every day reliably. There are lots of people that don't exactly like the food that Arby's has to offer. But Doug on the other hand would order the same meal every day and wolf it down. The staff affectionately called him Mr. Doug and Christina, the manager at Arby's, said, he comes in with a walker, as soon as we see him come to the doors, we try to grab the doors for him. It was lunchtime and Doug came in like he always did, but this time around Christina had to know why he was always by himself and why he came to this restaurant every day. But Doug wouldn't tell her this time around, it would take more than that to get him to open up about his private life. They still wanted the answer. Rumors were going around amongst the staff at Arby's as to why Doug ordered the same food from them. Everyone needed to know why he did it. He's gone through a lot being a veteran and living in a retirement home. And he doesn't have family, Christina said. But why does he order the same food every day? Who might be curious as to what Doug orders every day? It's a beef slider with Swiss cheese and a Coca-Cola, hold the ice. Christina finally mustered up the courage to ask, Hey, Mr. Doug, we just want to know what keeps you coming back to this Arby's location. He looked at her and simply said, This is the only place I can get a sandwich that doesn't hurt my stomach. Christina had no idea that Doug had been suffering from health issues and came to their establishment because it was the only place he could without being in agony. At the Chandler Arby's they consider their regulars family, especially Doug. When they heard about Doug's story, it didn't stay in the Arby's. Another staff member at Arby's, Travis Coy said, he's expressed to us multiple times that we're like his family, and we feel that ourselves, so we try to make him feel welcome in any way possible. Christina was very attentive when it came to her customers, whenever a new employee was hired she made sure to brief them on Doug's special dietary needs. But unbeknownst to Christina, one order one day was going to be different from the norm. Something was going to slip through. Doug was happy to eat at Arby's because of his sensitive stomach. If he couldn't eat there, he'd likely eat a sandwich somewhere else and risk getting stomach pains. All the employees at Arby's knew they had to make sure that Doug could eat his sandwich just how it was every day. He was a war hero after all, and when he needed his sandwich they made sure he got one. But one day something made it onto Doug's sandwich that shouldn't have. Ethel Fishman, a regular who knew Mr. Doug, had a hunch about one of the young waiters working at Arby's. But, one afternoon, what she saw him slipping into Mr. Doug's usual order left her completely dumbstruck. The waiter looked around furtively, but he had no idea that Ethel was watching everything. Ethel could only guess what the waiter had done by watching his face, which was turned down intently as she prepared Mr. Doug's usual sandwich. Then, his eyes darted around quickly as if to see if anyone was watching. Ethel wasn't one to let something like this go, so she quietly pulled out her phone. She could never have known that one moment caught on camera would have such far-reaching repercussions for everyone involved. Ethel, making sure that her camera phone's flash was off, snapped the evidence she needed, the photos that would make both the server and Arby's Facebook famous. Although her view was partially obscured, she saw the waiter hurriedly slip something red into the Arby's paper bag. But she didn't have to wait long to find out what it was. Soon, everyone would know what the server had done. The elderly man sat still as he waited for his meal he too had his eyes on the waiter in anticipation. His breathing quickened slightly as he pushed the bag towards him. Although Ethel couldn't see his face, she saw the waiter crack a smile as Mr. Doug checked his order. Mr. Doug began to eat his roast beef sandwich while the waiter hovered around the table. Mr. Doug seemed confused but he hadn't realized that reporters had crowded into the establishment. He looked inside the bag his order had come in to check that the waiter hadn't missed anything and noticed the piece of red card rattling around in the bottom. 
Then, Ethel heard Mr. Doug say something that made tears well behind her eyes. She picked the clearest photo on her phone and wrote the post. Then, she hit share. She had only just asked her server for the bill when her phone began to ping furiously. Whether they liked it or not, Arby's was now famous. There was no one doing it. What had they done? Mr. Doug, just realizing that there were reporters recording his reaction, pulled out the card. He thought it was some kind of joke at first. Then, he slowly realized what the staff at Arby's had done. And when it dawned on him that the act of generosity was actually real, he said, thank you. I never know if I'll be here the next day, but thank you so much for this. The staff had decided to pool their spare cash and slipped a $200 Arby's gift card into Mr. Doug's order so he could save the little money he had. But when the Arby's head office heard what the kind-hearted people of Chandler had done for Mr. Doug, they got in touch for a serious discussion with manager Christina about the unorthodox gesture. We try to go above and beyond for him because he needs the extra love, Christina said of the way staff at that particular restaurant had cared for Mr. Doug. Mr. Doug also had a few mental health issues due to time spent in the army, which were only exacerbated by his age. The head office understood that the veteran was a very important part of the community in Chandler, so decided to take things a big step further. Grateful for Mr. Doug's service during the war, Arby's decided that the veteran would never pay for a roast beef slider or Coca-Cola ever again. The restaurant chain gave Mr. Doug a lifetime's worth of free lunches and surprised him with the news when he came in for his regular meal. And his reaction was priceless. He was shocked, Christina said. He was absolutely speechless. Christina and Travis personally told Mr. Doug that he wouldn't have to worry about finding the money for his lunch anymore. But when journalists caught up with Mr. Doug, it turned out he did have some kind things to say about the people looking out for him. Mr. Doug said the restaurant staff always do their best to keep his table free for him, even though he's quite happy eating at the next table over. Anything I need, they give it to me, Mr. Doug said of the hospitality at Arby's, before adding his review of their food. It's just so satisfying. But the VIP customer gets much more than free food. Knowing that he always orders the same thing, staff have Mr. Doug's meal ready and waiting for him when he arrives. Everyone that works there knows that when his gift card runs out, Mr. Doug is still entitled to food on the house, even if he isn't able to come into the restaurant personally to eat it. Employees have even given Mr. Doug their personal phone numbers, so if he's feeling unwell, he can call them directly and someone will deliver his favorite meal right to his door. And now Mr. Doug's story has spread throughout the community, prompting others to show their gratitude to the veteran and offer him even more free services. Mr. Doug was well-liked in the community, so staff and diners at the Chandler Arby's couldn't have been happier to hear that head office had granted him food for life. And when a local optometrist heard about how the Arby's staff were looking after a veteran, he had to come and see what was going on with his own eyes. After hearing that Mr. Doug could use a little help, the local eye doctor came by the restaurant to give the aging diner's vision a full checkup completely free of charge. And when he saw that his prescription needed an upgrade, the kind optometrist even offered Mr. Doug a free pair of glasses, which he gratefully accepted. Christina was over the moon to hear of more businesses stepping up to help Mr. Doug, believing it's only right for veterans to be given a helping hand when they sacrificed so much to fight for their country. Let's give him Arby's for life. Christina said without hesitation, despite the obvious repeat business she stands to lose. I have no problem with that. Arby's has been recognized by veteran group Run for the Wall for everything they have done for Mr. Doug, but Christina insists that just helping him out is reward enough. It was truly an honor, she said. There are so many amazing stories about our veterans, and I thank them for everything they've done for us. The world caught wind of Mr. Doug's story when a photo that fellow diner Daniel Maloney posted online went viral. He had been eating at the Chandler Arby's with his mother that day when he witnessed staff presenting Mr. Doug with the $200 coupon, before the restaurant decided to give him food for life. And he couldn't help but capture and share the moment. We really enjoy you here and we always want you to come back, Daniel reported Arby's staff as saying to Mr. Doug when they broke the news to him that lunchtime. There are so many good people in the world, Maloney wrote on Facebook. These employees selflessly put in their own money, 
so an elderly man could come in and enjoy dinner on what he never knew could be his last. Although Daniel wasn't the only one who had seen the act of kindness and decided to post on Facebook about it, it was his post that garnered the most reactions. And after he shared the video and images on Facebook, there were plenty of other people who thought the story was heartwarming and worth celebrating. This makes me happy. We should be doing more for our veterans, said Facebook user Nancy Tucker. Ophelia Lacaba added, wow. Love this news. Thank you, Mr. Doug, for your service, and thank you, Arby's, for what you did and are still are doing for him. God bless you all. Another Facebook user wrote, I love everything about this. A man that has served his country well, now strangers are making his life a little easier. This is how everyone should treat each other. Why not? If we all truly cared for each other, we'd be a much happier country. Compassion. What a wonderfully uplifting story. Thank you for your service, Doug. I've always loved Arby's and I'll probably like them more now. So good to know that there are still great, caring young people with big hearts. Keep up the good work kids. And the positivity continued to pour in, many more users wanted to thank Mr. Doug for his service. Ah, awesome story thank you for sharing. Always grateful for a veteran. Thank you Arby's and staff for making this Veterans Day every day. Sir thank you for your service, another comment gushed. And another, what a great story to tell the world. This veteran deserves this and so much more. Thank you Arby's for showing him respect and kindness. These are rare qualities in our world now. God bless you Doug, thank you for your service and loyalty. There are still a lot of good people out there. To the staff, good for you. It means the world to the Dugs out there who still need and crave the human touch and to feel that they still matter and have something to look forward to," another user wrote. Several others reached out to say what a wonderful story it was. One commenter even shared a personal story that made the story especially dear to his heart. My dad was a World War II and Korea veteran. He would have been 94 this year. This story hits home because he loved Arby's. He said it wasn't fast food but was a real meal. He added, thank you for your service. But not every Facebook commenter thought the story was such good news. Some were only capable of pointing out the negative. Pell Stilato suggested that Arby's were getting more out of the bargain than they were letting on, saying it would cost Arby's more money in advertising than feeding him for life. Great business plan, pick the oldest guy in town, give him free food for life, and in return get massive advertising. Similarly, Watson Joe felt that Arby's shouldn't have sought so much publicity over a good deed, why have the news announce it? Do kind acts because you want to, not because you want your 15 minutes of fame. However, Arby's is known for supporting veterans and even offers free roast beef sandwiches to America's heroes on Veterans Day. Jeff Davis, United States Beef Chief Executive Officer, said, this country is so blessed to have such courageous and dedicated men and women willing to serve our country and defend our freedom. Feeding them on Veterans Day is just a small token of our appreciation, but we wanted them to know we're thinking of them and supporting their mission. Mr. Doug may struggle with several health issues and has no family left, but Arby's has gone out of their way to show him the respect he deserves. But our Doug has been largely forgotten since risking his life for America and the world back in the 1940s, but the Arizona Arby staff has done what the government should have done long ago, they adopted him as part of their family. Now that Mr. Doug has a lifetime supply of sandwiches available to him, one journalist joked that the 97-year-old would need to live another 10 years to get the most use out of it. Well, wouldn't that be nice, Mr. Doug replied, smiling. Here's hoping the veteran enjoys every sandwich he's got coming to him. But not all patrons are as delightful as Mr. Doug. She glanced at the table in the corner, searching for his familiar face, and her heart skipped a beat. The table that had been occupied by him for seven years was empty for the second morning in a row. The first day of his absence was strange in itself, but now on the second day, she couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right. Melina Salazar had been a waitress at Luby's in Brownsville, Texas, for over seven years. Although waiting on tables can be tiring, she always put a friendly smile on her face and resolved to give her patrons the best service possible. 
During her first week on the job, she began to notice that the eatery had some regular customers. And one man, in particular, had quite a reputation among the servers. The elderly gentleman was an 89-year-old veteran by the name of Walter Buck Swords, and he had made a habit of grabbing a bite to eat at Luby's every single day. When Melina, still training, was assigned his table during her first week, it was nothing short of a baptism by fire. You see, Walter Swords was considered by the staff at Luby's to be an exceptionally difficult customer. Melina was nervous as she approached, but she kept her head high and smiled. She resolved to treat Walter like any other customer and was determined to make an effort, despite his reputation. Melina was the kind of person who always maintained a positive attitude and tried to see the best in everyone, but she was about to be tested to the limit. It turned out that Walter was known for being short-tempered and rather rude to the restaurant staff. He was also demanding, impatient, and cranky, in short, a nightmare customer for any server. At first, Melina was taken aback when demanded that his food arrived piping hot. He snapped that he didn't care if it burnt his mouth, that was the way he wanted it. So began Melina's tenuous relationship with her cranky customer, and it continued for seven years. Melina was determined to make an effort, despite Walter's reputation. His behavior was so bad that he would even swear at her when he was feeling particularly cranky, but she put on a brave face every morning and made the best of her situation. She always greeted him with a bright smile and a friendly how you doing today? And her efforts didn't go unnoticed. One fateful day, Melina was surprised to see that her regular wasn't sitting at his usual table. Although the pair didn't have what anyone would consider a good relationship, Melina had grown fond of the cranky old man in her own way. He had almost become a permanent fixture in her life at Luby's. So, when he stopped coming in to eat, Melina wondered why. On the second and third day, there was still no sign of Walter. Melina started to worry that something had happened to him, but she didn't know where he lived or who his relatives were, so she couldn't inquire further. Still, the nagging worry remained in the back of her mind, and she found herself thinking about her cranky customer even after she had ended her shift. Was he okay? Had something happened to him? A few days later, Melina found herself glancing at Walter's usual table again, hoping to see his familiar face. But the table was empty. She walked to the back of the restaurant and began flipping through the local paper as she waited for her shift to start. On the back page, she saw something that broke her heart. It was the answer to her question, they're in black and white. In the obituary section of the paper, Melina was dismayed to see Walter's name printed there. The heading read, Walter M. Buck Swords, 89, of Brownsville, Texas. Melina's eyes filled with tears at the thought of never seeing him again, but life would go on. She waited on tables with a heavy heart that day, but she had no idea what was still to come. Melina had handled her favorite crabby customer carefully and with patience for all those years. After all, she knew that although he was rude to her, he had been through a lot in life. The least she could do was be kind to him while he was at Luby's. But she never imagined that Walter had taken notice of her efforts. Unbeknown to Melina, the grumpy man had appreciated her efforts and friendly smile every morning. He had served his country during World War II, and then had started two successful trucking businesses in the following years. But Melina had no idea just what her service had meant to him. A few days before Christmas, Melina got the call that changed her life. 